NASA is working to confirm what could be a blockbuster deep space discovery by the Hubble telescope. Right now, it's only visible as a smudge on the telescope's new wide field camera, but it could turn out to be a 13 billion year old galaxy, possibly the oldest ever seen. I'm joined now by Michi Okaku, professor of physics at City University of New York. He's also the author of the forthcoming book, Physics of the future. Good to see you. Well, it's great to have you yeah. on. Um, so the headline in the Washington Post, Hubble spots presumed oldest galaxy, hot, faint, and 13 billion years old. This is a magnificent piece of science. You know, children ask the question, where is the farthest star? Well, in some sense, we found it. This is the farthest star that the Hubble Space Telescope can see, and it's also the oldest star, dating back to almost creation itself. But, Michio, you said we found it, but they're still calling it a candidate galaxy, so it could turn out to be something else far less exciting than the passion that you're showing right now. No, I'm pretty sure that this is it. Uh, for example, okay. when you look in a mirror, you don't really see yourself. You see yourself as you were a half a, bil a billionth of a second ago. So the night sky, the stars are a few hundred years old in terms of the light. Uh -huh. This star has been beaming for 13 billion years, and the universe is only 13.7 billion years old. We were talking in the commercial break, and my executive producer was asking about time travel and going back in time, and you say that's what we've done with this discovery. That's right. We go back in time every time you look at the sky, and light from the stars, some of those stars are older than the dinosaurs. The light has been going for billions of years, and beyond that, beyond the farthest galaxy, lies Genesis itself, the creation of the universe. The explosion, the Big Bang that created the entire universe, that's what lies beyond this galaxy. So we are one step closer to that. We're one step beginning. closer to actually getting the secret of the origin of the universe itself. What happens next in this uh, potential discovery? How is it confirmed and, and we learn that it is actually not a candidate but real, as you point out? Well, we have to analyze the light again. The Hubble Space Telescope, its shutter was open for a hundred hours. Wow. You know, on a camera, you only open it for a half a <laughs> second, second right. less than a second. hundred hours to get that faint light to, to photograph uh, by the Hubble Space Telescope. So it has to be verified. Michio, we hope we come back on when uh, more verification comes in. But right now, this is thrilling news. Thank you. Mm -hmm.